What's going on guys and welcome back to Project Cars 2 and the Ice Track Trial Series. Today we have three new cars to go down the Mercedes-Benz Ice Track circuit, the second version of it. Like usual, yeah, we have three new cars. Um, and yeah, we start off today with the Mercedes-AMG A45 Rallycross. Um, now, I wanted to have another Rallycross car to compete with the Ford Focus Rallycross car we had right at the beginning of this series. Um, that's the only Rallycross car we've had so far, so I thought, you know, we really needed really needed another one to, you know, to really go up against that Ford, because otherwise it is just going to be way up at the front. So I decided to go for the Mercedes AMG A45. Um, it's a car that I quite like. I haven't really driven it very much, but, um, you know, it's, it's not too bad. It's a little bit more obscure than your Ford Focuses, your mini, you know, Countryman's, Mini Coopers. Um, stuff like that. It's a little bit different, so I thought I'd give it a shot. Now obviously this is going to go around the course pretty well compared to most cars. Um, the main point of the series is for me to throw some uh, kind of ridiculous cars down this circuit. Um, you know, some race cars and road cars and stuff. Whereas this is a rallycross car, so it's kind of deal. It's, it's made to deal with this sort of surface. Although this isn't really a rallycross track, it's still an off-roady track and, you know, with this being on a on you know off-road tires and stuff like that it's gonna fare here a lot better than other cars um, so of course the Mercedes was pretty good down here a little bit of sideways um, a few sideways moments around some places I actually slightly go up the uh, up the kind of embankment there a little bit up the snow on the side um, but it's okay we still get a pretty good lie through and it's not really a problem but um yeah not really too much to say about this car you know it is really it is made for this sort of course um, I'm not gonna be driving cars like this too often on this series because you know I really want to do uh, more obscure cars I will be honest this episode today is actually a little bit more normal perhaps especially two cars today this one and the last one we'll do they're a bit more normal compared to what we usually do but um yeah um the Mercedes did pretty well it was pretty quick I could take a lot of speed through the last corner even with a little bit of sidewaysness it would go across the line and absolutely fling itself across the line there Next up we have the Nissan Skyline GTR R34, um, this is a track car, so um, it's not just your standard R34 Skyline, there isn't actually one in the game, which is a bit disappointing, but at least we do have this. Now, um, this is a track car, which means that it's not, deci not decided, not designed to go off-road at all. It's very low down, it has some big splitters, it has a giant wing on the back of it. Um, and yeah, it's not really designed for this sort of thing. Obviously, it's going to be on probably race tyres with it being a track car. I'm not 100% sure. Definitely not going to be off-road tyres, though, is it? Um, so, yeah, I was interested to see how this would go. Now, um, I can't exactly remember how much power and stuff this has got, but it's got quite a lot, and it's also got big old turbos on it. And, well, that gives the car a hell of a lot of turbo lag. This car is kind of ridiculous for the old turbo lag. You, um... You have it low down in the gear because the thing is you want it you don't want to be buzzing the limiter all the time on a track like this because the wheel spin the car goes all over the place whereas this with this car you're kind of you're at the you know the low end of the rpm range and then all of a sudden the turbos kick in and the wheels just spin and spin and spin and if you're going around a corner at that point the car really slides sideways and i had it a couple of times um now surprisingly this car actually drives the course pretty damn well apart from those turbos being a bit of a pain in the ass it actually drives this course really rather nicely um, the fact that the car's low down really doesn't bother it too much um i mean this is of course all-wheel drive i believe all the cars today are all-wheel drive um not too sure about the last one but um we'll get to that i'm pretty sure it is but um yeah this is all-wheel drive so that will help it however yeah it's basically a race car so to have it actually drive so well on this course did surprise me too much it was really just the turbos that were the problem they just kicked in at the worst times this final corner here i had a couple of issues within previous runs I actually uh, went over the line sideways at one point lost a lot of time um, but i managed to get the power down right at the end doesn't slide too much we get it over the line and finally we have the audi v8 quattro dtm now this is a group a car um that's what uh, project cars 2 says it is i'm pretty sure these are these did also did rallycross, right? It's like the Group B cars. They kind of did rallycross and hill climbs and stuff. I'm pretty sure that's the same with these cars, the Group A DTM cars. Um, so I guess this car is kind of... Um, it's kind of used to this sort of thing, but maybe not quite as much as the, you know, the WRX cars like the Mercedes-AMG. Um, 
but it is this is more made for this track than say the Nissan was. Um, so yeah, I suppose with that we kind of have two sensible cars going today, and even the Nissan, considering how it drove, was actually pretty sensible all things considered. Um, but yeah, this thing it's obviously an older car. This is 1991. This car. So it is quite a bit older, however it actually really drove really nicely, I loved how this car drove, I actually did this in the first run, I mean the Mercedes took 3 or 4 runs, I think the, Merce uh, the Nissan took about 5 runs, um, This I did this in the first run, I got a clean quick run first time round with this car. And I actually really just like, I really loved how this thing drove. It really gripped to the road. Like I said, I didn't check if it was all-wheel drive or not. I presume it would be, with it being an Audi for a starter. Audis are pretty much always all-wheel drive. And um, with it being, you know, a rallycross type car, um, a Group A vehicle, I would presume it's all-wheel drive. And it did feel like it was all-wheel drive, so I'm going to say it probably was. But um, yeah, this thing was really nice. Um, no turbo lag in this car, definitely not. Uh, no way, I don't even know if this thing has turbos, but if it did, then not a problem. Um, and yeah, really gripped to the snow track really, really nicely. Honestly, I kind of prefer driving this car than the Mercedes, because it just, with it being a little bit slower, it just kind of got around a lot nicer. It was a lot nicer to drive. And I really enjoyed the Audi V8 Quattro. Really, really fun car to drive as we fly over the line. So, on to the times for today. And everybody is at, every car is really close to each other this time. We have the Mercedes AMG A45 RX in second place with a 152.809. We can't quite beat that Ford Focus. We're a half a second down. Um, a little bit of a scruffy run, but um, yeah, at least it gets under the two minutes. Also getting under the two minute mark, the Audi V8 Quattro DTM with a 157.240. That car was really good. I was really surprised by it. It was just really nice to drive. And then in fourth place, we have the Nissan Skyline GTR R34 with a 2 minute 0.302 just missing out on that uh, sub 2 minute time uh, really nice to drive actually I love the skyline so it's good to see it do a pretty respectable time but anyway that's going to be it for this video guys thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed please go ahead like and subscribe comment what other cars you'd like to see me take on this snow course and I'll see you guys in the next video